Hello, hello, hello everybody, my name is Mercury115 and welcome back today to another tutorial video. Today we are looking at the Crystal Hollows, specifically Nucleus Runs. Okay, so we're going to be working at how to get all of the crystals and where to put them and everything there is to know about these runs. So before we get started, I just want to say again a massive thank you to all the love and support. As of right now, we hit 450 followers on the channel. So a massive thank you and shout out to you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you all so much. Without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so I'm on my island and we're not going to get anywhere from there. So let's get into uh, where we need to go. So I'm going to walk to the mines. If you do not have the warp mines command or anything like that then uh, you can search it up here the pigeon so i don't have to go to the king commission milestones number four this is where you get it you have to do 250 commissions to get this it doesn't matter what commissions they are do 250 you will get that waypoint consume it and then you can do warp mines and it will load you right here every time Okay, so you spawn in and you go straight forward. You'll see a little archway with loads of different colored glass on top of it. This is the crystal holler. You speak to this person here and they will give you a pass. It does cost 10,000 coins, um, but it gives you access for five whole hours in this area. Now, some things you need to know before accessing the crystal hollows. You want to be, or you cannot access, is you are at least Hot M3. I, personally, would recommend you get to Hot M5, and you do all the commissions to get Royal Pigeon. Now, I believe it is 500 commissions that you need to do. Sorry. Yes, 500 commissions that you need to do to get the Royal Pigeon. I would recommend Hot M5 so that you'll have a drill and that you can start working on um, your armor and things like that as well. Um, but necessarily preferably you'd want your pigeon and things like that as well you can come in at level three you don't need a drill you don't need a pigeon to do these runs i just personally would recommend that you need at least 1500 mining speed i have uh 1867 with just my hand if i have the drill out and do it 3678 you need at least 1500 mining speed to instant mine the hard stone which is there so you click that you click join there'll be a cart that's here if you miss the cart do not worry you can just click a uh, uh, gwendolyn again and then wait a couple minutes and spawn it you have to right click to get in it is annoying sometimes and you watch this whole cut scene and you come through and it spawns you in to the crystal hollows now if you press tab it will show you everything you need to know about the crystal hollows and all this sort of stuff we are currently in a day two lobby as you can see up here um, i'm gonna do this as you can see up here and now as you can see to my right i have a map up of where i am this is my little character right here i am in something called the mithril deposits this right here this purple is the nucleus there is also a jungle area a goblin holdout and a precursor each area shown on the screen is a crystal in that area where you have to do a certain thing mission event to be able to get that crystal as you can see right here it says i have zero out of five crystals i've got completely none and i've done that for the sake of helping you guys if you don't have sky tools and you don't have all these mythal powder crystals things and all that on your screen to help i will show you ways to do that now so each lobby can go up to 15 days typically around day eight down day nine everything is like mined out and and things like that so you won't really get into a lobby much past those days but if you do find yourself in a lobby that seems mined out or anything you can always just click the discover menu click exit crystal hollows confirm click the skybook menu again when it loads <laughs> click enter and confirm that's another way you can get in if you have a ticket you can just quickly spawn in those that way each time as you can see it spawned me in a completely different place it spawned me in the precursor remnants i'm now here in the bottom right of my screen uh, of the map sorry um typically each area is color coded so the blue crystal area is the precursor the amber or orange crystal area is the goblin holdout the purple 
area is the jungle and the green area is the mithril deposits uh so whenever you spawn you can typically tell what area you're in uh regardless now i know it may seem or look different because i'm currently at 594 148 and 809 now that is hard to grasp but the mineable area is 621 by 621 by 157 now wherever you spawn on the map the crystal hollows will always or oh, sorry the crystal nucleus will always be in the middle now as you can see on my screen i have a crystal nucleus waypoint now that will always spawn because of my sky tills mod pack now i seriously do recommend you get sky tills because it is so helpful with this if not you are always more than welcome to go into your chat and ask people uh nucleus coordinates or the coordinates of specific areas and things like that um it is a good way to get knowledge of areas and that way you can just head straight towards them if no one knows where this area is or you just don't want to ask the chat i get it sometimes i just don't want to ask people i have something here that is called a wishing compass now wishing compasses are great for finding key areas within um the section that you are in so if you are in the precursor as i am right now if i click this it will give me a guide if i mind the way it told me to go that will take me straight to the area where i get the crystal within this area now i know i've talked about the four areas here there is another area in which if you go below y64 so i'm currently y148 right now if i go below y64 i'll be in something called the magma fields now the magma fields you can tell when you're in because the crystals themselves will be yellow um, and there will be a topaz crystal now basically in the magma fields um, there will be uh, a crystal that you can get as well and these are the crystal you need as follows so you need the jade crystal which you get from the mithril deposits you need the amber crystal which you can get from the goblin hold out then you need the amethyst crystal which you get from the jungle and you need a sapphire crystal which you get from the precursor remnants and the very last crystal but by all means not least you need the topaz crystal which you get from the magma fields so one crystal for each area and what you will find is each area has a specific thing that you need to do to get that crystal now these things never change for the areas only the location might change kind of action i would say is find the crystal in the location you're in or to get a good home base get to the nucleus now nucleus again is the very center of the map now i know that it may seem weird that um the locations are out but typically if you try and go to the very even um which i believe is 500 500 so we're going to go to the nucleus and uh i will see you there and here i am i am at the nucleus this is what it looks like in all its glory each area as you can see you have the blue crystal and that is down this path here you have a green crystal which is down this path here which is the mithril deposits you have a purple crystal which is in the jungle and you have a orange crystal which is in the goblin holdout this yellow crystal is the topaz crystal and that is the one that is found in the magma fields anywhere below y64 and that can be found in any one of these areas which is why it is a pain which is why i suggest you go into all you can ask people where's bal um and you will find it or where's topaz crystal and you will find it now the reason i said bal is because that is the name of the boss that you have to kill i'll get more into that later um, and explain exactly what you need to do for that so you have found the crystal or you found the nucleus or you have spawned in one of the areas and you want to find the location again you can ask in chat and they will give you the coordinates just like you see someone has done here now the good thing about this is he said about the yog boss which is the bal which is the uh, this one here is Kazad Dum or Kazad Dum. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry. Sky Tills, if you enable it, will let you set the waypoint for it. So I click this button, internal bow, I click enter, and it tells me on my map here where it is. And I also get a waypoint. So now I just mine to that location and I am there. So the first thing we're going to get to, and it's actually my least favorite, is the 
green crystal which is the j crystal which you get in the mithril deposit um and you go to an area called mines of divin now i have an uh heroic aspect of the end an aote so i'm able to just uh fly my way across this but if you guys don't just run across and things like that so again you can ask in chat where the uh mines of divin are that's what this one is called um but you don't have to you can pull out a wishing compass while you are in the area you can click it and it will tell you the direction as it going there and it's very literal in terms of the way to go so i am just mining in that direction until we find it and here we are this is the mines of divan it's huge it is covered in gold so if you ever want gold make sure you come here and it's only day three on this lobby it's pretty much already mined out absolutely insane people are crazy for this now this is where the crystal will be on this pedestal right here now sometimes the bridge is broken sometimes it isn't it depends on where the mines spawn themselves all you want to do you want to talk to one of these guys they will give you a metal detector now once you have one you can keep it forever i've had this one up here for about six years um, but basically you get the metal detector and as you can see right here where my mana is when I'm equipping it it will change to treasure so what that does is it search searches for the closest treasure chest I find that chest I open it and then I need four parts because there are four different people now you can talk to any of these people there's one here there's one down there as well he might be hard to see and there is one there so there's four different people so you need four different parts you run along and you find the treasure um it will only be in the mines of different area down by where the gold is so as you can see it says i'm 45 meters away and i'm getting further away so i'm gonna push a bit closer now i do have solvers on again so it tells me where the treasure is which is very very helpful i right click it and it gives me something now, again this is why it's really beneficial and good to have some of these mods because they save a lot of time now again the neu update has just done this for us so all this is new for us as well this is the first time i've done it with this i click the treasure the thing goes above it if i do not walk over that or touch that or in any way that will despawn so you have to make sure you you touch it guys and you just look around for where the treasure light is and there you go now typically before you would have to physically get close and things like that and i'll do the next one like that so you can see um it says 69 66 it's getting closer going this way 24 20 19 20 i wonder if it's getting closer this way so we know it's over this way now 1.4 and here it is it will light up like this i right click on it and it will spawn something up in the edge reason this is my least favorite uh thing to do is for the simple fact that it's I i've sat here for 20 30 minutes before trying to find the uh all four parts and not got them and it does take a while and it is tedious and annoying and all those things but uh it's not terribly bad it just takes time okay it's, it's not terrible it's just my least favorite out of all of them the rest of them you know there's always something to do time always goes quick you're not sat there waiting um and i i quite enjoy it myself so i'm going to uh go through and smash out all of these and i'll be back with you when i've got all four parts hey there's one part there's number two number three and there we go number four right after each other so you can see what i mean by how long it takes to get all four of these parts and basically all you do is you click each person and it will automatically take the part that they need out of your inventory do not worry two go over here try and get it quickly number three and then as you can see each one of these comes across when you do the fourth one the crystal will spawn and you have got yourself your first crystal now a way to check what crystals you have if you load up your hot m menu and you hover over this thing at the bottom here as you can see it says your crystals it says jade not placed amber not found amethyst not found so if it says not placed that means you have it on your inventory you've just not put it down yet now you can go back to the crystal hollows at this point place it so it'll say placed and i keep them on me until i get all five and then place them all now as you could see there you probably noticed that i have a jasper and a ruby gemstone there 
and you might wonder how i get those these gemstones are found through mining so jasper and ruby are things that you can find throughout the crystal hollows um ruby is obviously a red and jasper is obviously a sort of purpley pink and if you mine these there is a chance that you can get a crystal from just mining them and those crystals are used to make perfect gemstones and other things in the forge so keep hold of them when you can so you have got your first crystal congratulations well done i'm proud of you <laughs> Our job now is to get the other four so once we have done the jade i am going to move on to the goblin holdout now you can do these in any order you don't have to do it specifically or whatever you can get one and then come off for five days because they stay in your inventory they stay in that little pocket forever until you use them so do not worry about trying to get this all done in one little rush or one little go i know it costs ten thousand coins to get in here but this place is very good for making money and these crystals are very very expensive so i will see you at the nucleus so I'm back at the Nucleus. I got kicked out of my lobby, so I had to rejoin a new one, but it's fine. We are here. We are going to do the Amber Crystal now, considering we have the Jade already. So the Amber Crystal is over in the Goblin Holdout. Now, again, you can ask in chat where the uh, coordinates are, or you yourself can get a Wishing Compass and do that and then find the thing that way. Now... A way to get wishing compasses is to get it from chests. Now you can find chests all around in the goblin holdout. One's right here. Very convenient. Open it up and it will give you some things. Some of them give you gemstone. Some of them give you um, powder. Some of them give you uh, items specific to that area so in the goblin holdout you can get things like eggs as well now you do need eggs for this mission so what you want is you want to find two things you want to find the king a goblin king and you want to find a goblin queen now the story to this is the queen has kicked the king out and the king wants to get his revenge so if i click this it should take me to either one either the king or queen and uh we are going to go investigate and go from there so i'm going to use my wishing compass and get me there now sometimes these areas and pathways will somehow take you to it i just like running around them because they're quite easy and stuff so you will find areas like this with goblins and people like that in you do need three eggs of any kind as long as they're the same for this goblin area now, there are going to be places with chests and um, little areas where you can get things to help you with that. Or you can do something that's called powder mining, which is as simple as mining into the wall and making sure that you have your Great Explorer perk and Mole perk up. And you mine like this. Go a little bit crazy for a couple of seconds and you'll get a chest. You unlock this chest just like so by hitting the stars now if you unlock the chest as i said earlier you get things relative to that area so you can get eggs from these chests by doing it so a good way to get the resources from that area would be to powder mine now the only two areas you need to do this in are the goblin holdout which is the area i'm in and the precursor remnants that the yellow area is the goblin queen's den so that is the thing you need to do second you need to find the goblin king first okay so every time you find one of these open it up and i got a green goblin egg that time it's completely random what you will get what you can get another way you can get them is by killing goblins and um that is it so here we are this is the goblin king this is his hideout one good thing about the goblin king is he always has two chests one at the very bottom down here and we'll see what we got all this stuff very nice and one at the very top not the very top but the one under the top sorry down here so there's always two chests one in the top floor one in the bottom and i did get an egg through that very nice so make sure you save up three of any kind of egg king yolka you talk to him a bit and he's very upset He's got an empty stomach. Goblin Queen tossed him aside. How, how dare she? 
You give him free eggs and he drenches you in his stench. You now have goblin stench. Absolutely disgusting. Basically, what that means, the queen's goblin guards cannot see you or smell you. Um, so you can walk straight past them. If you try and do the, uh, the queen... Without doing this first, it will not let you in. You have to do this first. So what we do is we blue line for the queen. Again, if you haven't found it, wishing compass, it will take you straight to it. Queen. As you can see, there is a huge area here. And there is a big goblin. Now, typically, you would not be able to walk through or past, but you are allowed to now. And the crystal is in there. And there we go. We now have two out of five crystals. And again, our way to check is check your hot M, hover over this, Jade and Amber, smashed it. Okay, back in the Nucleus, and the next thing we're going to do is the Jungle, which is the Amethyst, which is over here. Now, fun fact, while we were looking for the Goblin, we actually found the Jungle Temple. Now, that is where you get the Crystal, but we are not looking for that yet. We are looking for something called the Key Guardian. Okay, so we have luckily, after longer than I'm happy to admit, found one. Um, this is not... I, I think there's two or three different structures of a key guardian. Um, I think one or two of them will show up. Uh, I've had a look. But this is a key guardian. This is what he looks like. And what you can do, he has a million health. Uh, you can block him in and you can farm this guy. You can sit here and just farm them. So if you see where he spawned before, it was roughly here. And you put hardstone blocks where he was don't come across ah oh, god come back here fella if you put hardstone blocks where he was now when he spawns he's going to spawn in that uh block and he will take uh suffocation damage and what you do is you hit him once and that is it he will die uh very quickly and there we go you can see he has spawned he is losing health very quickly i'm just going to hit him once or twice let him do the rest of the work he will die and I will get a key because it works uh, in the case of as long as you hit him before he dies, you will get the key. So there we go. That's a quick and easy way how to spawn them. You can sit there for ages. Okay, so we are here and we have found the jungle temple. We're at the start. Uh, if you see any of these tribe members, do avoid them because they will kill you. They will one hit you. I just run past and I never seem to really get hit. Now, I use the key to open the door. One key for open one door. If you fall in any of the lava or if you fall... Um, and die in this area you will have to restart and use another key so i will try and explain as i'm going what i'm doing um, and the jumps i'm using to do it it's not necessarily hard but even i still mess up the jumps so just be careful guys and this is why i say get a couple of keys just in case you mess up a jump so these jumps here are regular sprint jumps um, nothing too crazy and pretty straightforward literally if you do fail and land on these areas here you may be able to parkour back, but if you land in the lava, you're done for. These ones here are actually quite forgiving. Um, there is grass underneath that if you fall, you can jump back, but it is, again, hard. Um, but those ones were sprint jumps as well. Now, this one, you can jump onto this pretty easily. Now, you can jump up to there. You can jump up to there. I typically just jump here and jump up to there to avoid anything. So sprint jump to here, regular jump up to here, jump up to here. Now you will see a bunch of these traps along the way and they are all timed. So I can jump here. I'm not in the way of it. I always, always, always wait for it to shoot and then go because it has, I believe, two or three seconds per shot. So it shoots one, two, three. So about three seconds. So I always go as soon as it shoots, I go because I know I'm clear. So put, passing this one. You have to jump onto this, then jump behind yourself here. I'll show you what I mean. It's shot, and then jump here. So you've jumped backwards. And then you jump onto this. Onto this. Fall onto this block here. Be careful, there is a drop down here. There's another one here. I'm going to wait for it to shoot. And then push through. Now, you can once you do this a couple of times, you can do it pretty quickly. Um, you st do still need to stop. Now, these things, although it may not seem timed... They will only start when you're in the area. So they are time to your jumps, if that makes sense, okay? This first jump, you sprint jump up to it. I wait for it to shoot. And then I jump over here. And then here, all in one go. And I believe that doesn't really hit this block. So you can jump it to here, but I never go past this. And then when it shoots, 
I sprint jump down and sprint jump across. Now my game sometimes lags and gives me a mini heart attack. And just then it did it. I don't know if you caught it. But I inside I pooped my pants a little, okay? Now these ones here, again pretty straightforward, but they do have these here, which are again timed attacks. So wait for it to shoot, then go. You come around behind you, shoot, go again. Now if you keep just sprinting, you'll notice there are two traps here. There's one here. And there's one just there. This back one is timed for a sprint jump all the way across. So wait for this to shoot. Jump. Jump again. And if I would have went then, that would have hit me. So always stop. And then wait for this one to go. Every time you see a trap, always stop. That's the best advice I can give you. So we run across to this. And this area is pretty straightforward too. You jump up onto here. Now if you do fall down there, again, you can make, make your way back up sometimes this has a trap here you can make it all the way across i never try to i wait for it to shoot i jump and i stop and i crouch here you can make it across let it be known you can make it across i'll even show you okay ready go and you can make it across but sometimes i just straight jump and i crouch behind that pillar there but you can make it across if you time it right, guys. Okay, so don't have to do it that way. It's just better for me personally. Now with this one, again, you'll notice every single trap has this to say where it's going to start shooting out of. So I'm here. I'm going to wait for it to shoot, run across and jump. Now these jumps are some, some of the hardest because they're some of the longest and diagonal. But again, wait for it to shoot, sprint, sprint, jump. Now, realistically, it's not the hardest thing in the world. But I have failed a bunch of times doing it. So that's why you have a couple of things. And there you go. That is it. That is the purple amethyst crystal done. You will get two chests for your pleasure. So I always open a chest, click the crystal. And then open another chest. And there we go. We now have three out of five crystals. And we are well on our way for that nucleus run. Okay, so we're at the nu Nucleus. We have three out of five crystals. We have done the Minds of Divin. We have done the uh, Goblin King and Queen. And we have now just done the Temple Run. I hope that you're enjoying it so far. If you are enjoying the video, please leave a like. And please hit that subscribe button. If you want to come see me do a bunch of these over on my Twitch, then maybe you can see it there. I am actually grinding towards doing a bunch of these. I've got a good video idea coming out for you guys on YouTube soon. So if you want to see that come over uh to my twitch and if you want to see that video then make sure you hit that subscribe button also on my twitch i just grind a lot so come over and check that out thank you so much i do appreciate the support again sorry to keep you let's get on this precursor crystal sometimes my game lags i've got shocking internet lately don't worry i'm getting new internet i am so sorry so the thing you need here is the lost precursor city now you will find these guys called automatons near you automation automaton whatever you want to call it these guys you're gonna need to kill a bunch of them because they have a chance to drop one out of six parts now these parts as you can see here are control switch FTX 3070, Robotron Reflector, Electron Transmitter, Synthetic Heart, and Super Light Motor. They are six parts, and you need one of each to get the crystal. It is a door that you have to open. You need one of each part to do it. Now, remember what I said earlier about the Goblin Holdout and grinding the eggs and grinding um, the chests to be able to get uh, parts of those areas? This is one of those ones where I would strongly recommend maybe grinding the chests. Okay, because you mine, you get the chests, you open them up. And there is a chance that you can get those parts. Now, it does take a while, yes. And if you have a lot of magic find, you can just keep killing these guys and getting them. But if you're mining anyway, try to mine in the precursor to get those parts. Because it's very beneficial. But I already have a bunch of these parts as it is um 
so yeah there is there are two ways you can get those parts by killing those automatons or just by collecting chests in this area i'm not allowed in let me in uh i don't think i should be here somehow i mean those of you that know this area are going to be weirded out by this because <laughs> i'm not supposed to be here this is where you get the crystal <laughs> but <laughs> i didn't know you could mine into this <laughs> oh no i don't feel safe <laughs> i can't get out <laughs> please oh yes thank you <laughs> oh my god i got so scared so this is it this is the city i can't believe that just happened oh my god this is the city this is what it looks like it's a actual actually it's a beautiful area um and those uh automatons will spawn apparently 17 of them in one area jesus okay and basically all you do you come up to this guy here professor robot and he will ask you to bring six key components he will name all of them now i don't go off the names i don't know i just know when they filled six individual slots that i've got six different parts so those are the names here i've already gone through it but basically what will happen is you kill those guys and they'll drop parts it is complete rng what part you get um and you know when you get it i've had it before where i've got six of one part and none of the others or three of one part two of another and i've been waiting for two parts for ages but you get all six parts by killing those guys all opening chests in the precursor you give him each of the six like so this door opens and the crystal's in there now what do you know you collect it and that is the sapphire crystal done and we have four out of five and we have one more crystal to go so we're back in the nucleus okay we are here we have got all of the crystals apart from the topaz which is the one right behind me which is the bell now i am very quickly going to ask the chat where bell is so you can do this again if you want you can ask where Bal is or you can go to that area now Bal spawns in the magma fields so wherever you use a wishing compass whatever area you're in it will take you to a point of interest in that area people might tell you people might not it's just luck of the draw i personally have found that Bal has been more in the jungle area for me but that is just again luck of the draw i'm going to go into the uh magma fields where you find the bow yogs and the bow pet i'm going to use this it hasn't determined anything but it did say to come this way so we're gonna we're gonna trust it we're gonna follow it for now and we're gonna see where it goes of interest and it's right here and lo and behold the beast that is bow now bow is a uh hit based boss not a uh health based boss so basically what that means is I can sand from over here and just shoot arrows into him, which is absolutely amazing. Now, if you want, I can't move past this. This is actually where the crystal spawns, and I can sit on top of this crystal, happy as Larry. Pretty comfortable. You know, as long as I've got my wits about me, he won't kill me. Um, if you look down, you will see where the edge is. I normally control on this so I don't fall off. Uh, control is my shift, by the way. I use control to crouch because shift is sprint and it always will be. Fight me. So what you do is he is uh, hit base. His hitbox is all over the place. Just try and find a place where it works. He needs a certain amount of hits. He is not health based. Bunch of things will spawn. But again, if I'm up here, they don't really cause me any damage or harm. You can go up to him and hit him like a maniac if you want to. Um, the same result is the same result. This is also how you get the bow pet, guys. The bow pet is very, very good and useful. It's one of the best mining pets in the game. So if you haven't already, make sure you go and grind that. Um, it's not really causing me any issues and there he is there he's dead as soon as he teleports to Medio 
to the middle he is dead what you want to do oh that was lucky run past collect the items that you have taken now i can go in the lava because i have the um yog armor and it allows me to do all that stuff you will always get yogis from killing him and you'll uh get uh the crystals and things like that as well once he dies the crystal will spawn i think you can even click it while he's dying but i like to wait for it to spawn because it's a sense of achievement bye bat die look at you you're small now ain't you so small you're small oh you're dying oh no oh you nice little baby oh he's dead right and then it spawns and there we go i've got all five crystals go me <laughs> so you've got all five of your crystals you are now back at the nucleus if you don't know you can check your hot m and look here and it has all five in yellow and it says not placed the reason i don't like placing them is because i like placing them all at once so what you do is you go over and you click and it places in the arms of these giants i guess i don't really know so you place them all i like doing the uh topaz one last just a personal preference And with all this stuff, you will get a bunch of loot spawn right in front of that gate here. Um, and the loot can vary from, you know, you can get an armadillo pet egg. You can get um, just gemstones. You can get Divin's alloy, which is like one of the rarest drops. You can get Divin's fragments, which are quite good and usable for things. You can get a bunch of things, guys. Um, there is a page on the wiki which tells you. But you click your last one. And it says you have earned a crystal loot bundle. Do you mean a lot crystal nucleus? Here we go. And you walk over and collect all the things that you have got. What did I get on this run? I got a given fragment. I got a helix as well. That's very good. Opal gemstones, 800 or high experience is guaranteed. Oil barrel. There you go. I got a helix. That is pretty cool. I don't know if I have one of them before. I do. So there we go. I also have nine digging fragments now. Absolutely crazy. Um, and that is that. Again, it is random what you get. You will get a minimum of 800 XP. Um, you will get a bunch of other things as well. Loads of crystals and things. And yeah, so that is it. That is how you get, or how you do, sorry, a nucleus run. Try it for yourselves. Let me know in the comments below. Or come into my streams. Twitch.tv forward slash microphone 5 and tell me. What did you get on your runs? Let me know if this video was a great help. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. I hope that you stay safe. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. And bye-bye.